Well, congratulations, Gary. A superb performance, a superb win, and a great way to finish the season. Yes, uh, very pleased with the performance today. I thought that the uh, first 20, 25 minutes, some of the football was of a nice standard. And, um, you know, to find ourselves tuning in to the good that time, deservedly so. And, as I say, I thought that uh, it was a very entertaining game. Good time, we were in control of the situation. And, um, Second half, they were going to have more of a go, but it was end to end. But we had enough chances to win it out of sight. John, they get one back, and uh, you know, of course, it's going to make it a little bit tougher the last 10 or 15 minutes. But good end to the season over the last seven or eight games. The performances have been a lot better. We've been through a couple of sticky periods this season, there's no doubt about that, for long times. And uh, people have been patient, people have understood that we've had injuries, people understand we've got a lot of young players. But you know, we've, we've hung in there. We've, we've, you know, been strong and brave as a management team and as a group of players and as supporters. And we had some good performances and good results, you know, when you think the well, wins of like Forest Green and Lincoln are beating East Lee today. Uh, I wouldn't turn around and say, John, that I wish the season was carrying on. It's been a it's been a tough season, you know, that you know, when you lose nine players last season at the football club through retirement or going on to football league clubs or whatever the case may be. And then you're gonna go, you know, down the line really of having more quality than quantity. Um, in respect of your playing squad, because that was the important thing to try and keep as much quality as we could. Scott Rendell and uh, Ismail Yakabu and players like that were big pluses for the club, but uh, you know, we've had to deal with some real blows in respect of injuries and that along the way, and it's been tough. But you know, we've had our good times, we've had our bad times along the way. But when I look at though, I analyse it over 46 games and where we are at the end, we are finished in the top half again, you know, and um, all credit to the part-time clubs, Dover and Braintree, they've done very well, they've uh, flown the flag this season, the part-time clubs, but, you know, turn in January, turn in January, we were above, Braintree and Dover, 2nd of January, we found ourselves three points off the playoffs, 9th of January, we went three one away and we were a point off the playoffs. So we hung in there till January, then we found it tough. Uh, second half, you know, we haven't had that little bit of extra there to have a, a push and move on and losing yeah, down yeah. on is a big blow. But you know, but you have to analyse it over the, the 90 uh, minutes of one game and then you look at over the 46 games of all the others. And over the course of the season, John, I think that uh, as a football club, We've done well again, you know, no matter where we are. But of course you finished 12th, which, uh, you know, given everything that's happened, Gary, you must be reasonably pleased with that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 12th, uh, you know, you're in the top half, John. You know, you're in the top half, you know, at the end of the day. You know, I remember coming to Woking five and a half years ago, and I remember looking at Woking in the Conference League eight, nine years ago, where they were always continuously no disrespect to the managers or the players, always round the bottom four, bottom six, fighting, going the last game of the season. We don't have that problem, which is nice. You know, the league's a lot more stronger in respect of its full-time clubs and our ex-football league clubs. It's a tough league, John, it's a tough league. The club, you know, um, hopefully we'll, you know, in time, uh, be lucky enough to turn around and um, get a push to go forward. It costs money, we know that. And, you know, there's got to be a structure in place because I think the only way that you can really compete in this league to be a force against the ex-football league clubs is uh, being full-time and being a little bit more powerful with a, a stronger financial budget, for sure. And another goal for John Goddard today, and if it is to be his last game for the club, a great way to finish, Gary. Yes, uh, he's, he's been tremendous, been tremendous. Great season the lads had and, uh, you know, some other players have done very well this year, but uh, you know, for a, a midfield player to get 20 goals in 11 football, it's a tremendous achievement. And um, you know, he's done well again. Let's get another goal today, so of course we're very pleased. And nearly 1,900 fans here today, Gary, and, and they gave you and the team a great send-off, didn't they? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, very mixed really, John. I think the send-off was tremendous. You know, I think that. Uh, you know, I try and be honest in every way I form, you know, at the end of the day, um, as myself, I think that people are reading into things in one way, I, you know, I love it at the club, there's no secret about that, um, you know, I love working with Steve Thompson, Jeff Chappell and 
the club. I really enjoy it here, John. You know, but um, oh, I just want to win the lottery, John, really, and uh, try and help the football club a little bit, really, because we, we really do need to try and be more competitive uh, and try and put this football club in a position where hopefully long term, not in my time, I ain't going to be here, uh, in the sense there, I'm getting old, John, I'm getting old now, mate. Uh, but for a new generation to be able to support the team uh, from the terraces and leave, uh, you know, footings there in place for people to push on to come in the right direction. Gary, finally, you said that when the season ended, you were going to punch the air and go on your hole. So, yeah, Gary, you're off on I'm gone, mate. I'm gone, man. I'm going to Portugal. Ring me as much as you like, not a problem. The phone will be on your calls, your money. I'm not worried, but I'm going straight away Monday morning. Um, I'm a little break, yeah, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, I must be honest. Lovely. Safe journey home, Gary. Appreciate the support for the season, everyone else. Thank you. Cheers.